morning, guys. Welcome to Skipper Surf Review. I'm here with my friend Anis. Hi, everyone. And today we're going to talk about dead cooks. that I was never going to become a good surfer and quickly realized that the smaller the board the harder it is to catch waves and so I started initially I went from I think I had a 9.6 log and that was all I had but I had gotten a, a pulse surf six foot fish that was my first transition down to shortboard world but the thing was like maybe three and a half inches thick uh -huh. and obviously the learning curve was very steep, um, and then my first taste of a big of a bigger board over seven foot was actually from Joe Falcone, who always gives fantastic advice. And he said, "You know what? You should try going over seven foot." And that's when I realized that he's absolutely right, and that most people—I shouldn't be saying this because I'm giving the secret away, <laughs> which means more people will catch more waves. But the bigger the board, the easier it is. Most people want to always go shorter, faster. I quickly realized that. I'm never going to be whacking turns or doing anything like that. I'm only getting older. So I decided <laughs> to just stick with over seven foot boards, which probably two and a half years ago, most people in the lineup would kind of make fun of me and say, oh, well, how big is this board? And I can tell you what, most of those people now are sitting on seven foot boards, but it's, uh, yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good adventure so far. It's been fun. Having too many boards sometimes is not the best thing because you don't have time to ride them. And, um, and then one day I walked into Saturdays and um, I had I'd gone through a few boards CI mid was like a two plus one. And but I, what didn't you like about CI mid? I loved the CI mid. I mean, I loved every board I had, but it was a seven two. And then I just wanted to go even bigger and get lazier. So I went seven four. Mm -hmm. I got the album seven four, uh, the twin fin, which was a lot of fun. That board is now with a good friend of mine, Alec. He shreds that board. Unlike me, I never shredded it. I was probably one of the first few people to get a Townsend here. Mm -hmm. um, you look so good on it. I don't know about that. If you want to see someone that looks good on it, you should check out Alec surfing it. On, <laughs> he rips that board. Why did you sell it? That one looks so good. Um, I just wanted it to go to someone that can actually make it work. No, <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I kind of um, love to ride longer boards with that single fin and then I walked into Saturdays one day and thought maybe I should try like a good old school single fin. seven plus single mm -hmm. fin pin and I saw this board and at first I was kind of worried about the very pin, pinned out teardrop tail. Uh, I read a little bit about the board and um, saw some videos that showed that it could work in anything from you know two foot to uh, at high plus, which is when I usually max out. So I wanted to um, just be able to ride a board consistently in what we surf here all the time. Um, so then I decided to just sell off all my boards that were just sitting collecting dust for the most part and give them to people that would enjoy them. Um, yeah, it was, it's actually probably been one of the best feelings of not having to worry about what to ride and if I'm riding this board enough or that board enough or what I want to buy. And, Getting off Instagram also helps because you're not in the FOMO of, oh, what's the new board and what's the new model? And uh, <laughs> I find that for someone like me that is still very um, beginner slash intermediate, if you stick to one board, you can get a little bit better on one board rather than keep switching around and fin setups and this and that. I don't, you know. So. I mean, if you me, have a good board, I mean, there's some boards that like won't even yeah. help you to progress. Oh, for sure. Uh, this is a great board. So then I, I fell in love with it and I thought, okay, well, um, you know, if, if it works so nice, why not own it twice? And so then I called up um, Dead Kooks and I was looking at another single fin and I wanted a, a little bit more of an old school, like, um, design on it, something around the Terry Fitzgerald, hot buttered kind of look. And so they uh -huh. did a great job with it. And uh, yeah, they're both great boards. I, 
I'd love to just keep surfing them for as long as I can and enjoy them and stop buying more boards because just for the need of buying more boards. So all I have now is uh, this and the log. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, less is more. I agree. It's but, a good um, feeling. But again, I'm not someone that surfs well that can you know, take a three fin set up and rip and then take a single fin and feel the difference. I'm just mm -hmm. cruising and enjoying, you know, going up and down the face maybe. And, and that's about it. So to me, I'm at a stage where if I can just catch as many waves as I can and be able to go out on somewhat of a bigger day that I can duck dive a board and I can duck dive this board, then I'm, I'm a happy camper. Yeah, I like your board, honestly. Like, I... I expect a different behavior because when you say like a 7.4, I was like, I, I won't be able to do any turn. Surprisingly, like, this board is very responsive. Yeah. I mean, I was able to do some, not like a proper floaters, but some, you know, close out re-entry turns, you know, and uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I could do even like kind of cheater five easy, yeah. the tail holds up and... Um, you know, no, I I would love to take it again on a good hurricane day. Yeah, like for sure. just just like six foot day. I think it'll hold well. Oh yeah, for sure with that tail. Yeah, it definitely holds well. I read up on the board. I think he definitely designed it in a way to make sure that it works in anything from waist high up. So yeah, not that I know anything about. So board. so did you pick dead cooks just because you? Uh, walk into the Saturdays and then you saw this board. Uh, yeah. If there were some other board, you would pick the other one? Probably. Um, I know that they're one of the exclusive carriers of his boards and uh, of course I had heard a lot of the boards and I thought they were great. Very well designed, very well shaped and also his, all of his um, aesthetic design of boards is next level when it comes to glassing and everything he does. Yeah, glassing uh, is I, great. I just picked this one up and I thought, okay, let me give it, let me give it a chance in terms of a seven four pin tail. I had never ridden a single fin pin tail, and I thought maybe I would have it for a couple of months and sell it. Mm -hmm. but obviously, I haven't because it's been over a year, and typically I don't hold boards that long. Um, yeah. I'm always thinking I can get better if I buy a new board, but that doesn't happen. <laughs> so, uh, for myself, I would probably get the seven all. Yeah, for I sure. wouldn't go any smaller if I. I want to cover more conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but the seven off for me, for my uh, height and weight, yeah, uh, would be perfect. But for you, seven four, yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, it, it feels good. So, so I got two of them. Yeah, but you you got the second one just because if you break the other one. Yeah. Wow. Or yeah, just I like I don't alternate. I just wanted to have it as backup. So, knowing how long it takes for him to send boards and shape boards, and I didn't feel like. Uh, you know, I'm a creature of habit, usually. I go into the same restaurants and order the same thing at times when I like it. So. <laughs> Do you think if you had the CIME at same 7.4, you would, it would be something similar? Uh, or what, what do you think? Like I, Maybe, uh, you know, I, uh, my problem is I don't surf well enough to be able to really identify difference in responsiveness and all that. I can feel the difference between a single fin and, and a three fin setup now mm -hmm. for sure and a twin like the the album. But I would be lying if I said I could be like mm -hmm. super critical on which one mm -hmm. is better than uh, than the other one. To me, um, yeah, maybe a 7.4 CI mid would be great. Like I went to uh, Portugal uh, in end of May and I didn't have my board and I just rented a 7.6 Takayama egg. Mm -hmm. Like uh, pop out, three fin, and I had probably the most fun. It was a mm -hmm. two, three foot day, mm -hmm. and I was catching the most waves out of everyone because it was a seven six and it was easy to paddle and just you know I wasn't ripping at all, but I was catching a lot of waves. So <laughs> yeah. So which one are you taking to Maldives? Um, I know um, your your trip's coming up. I know. So. I, I'm gonna take this one. This one. Yeah. Ah. Probably take the wax off first, but yeah. Uh, It'll be fun. Hopefully it lines up with some good conditions and some good waves. Did the waves get bigger or smaller? The waves are still the same size. The wind is kind of off still, but I think it's improving. So we'll see, it's still far out. All right. So hopefully it's not- I hope your anxiety went away hopefully already. Hopefully it's not eight to 10 and 10 to 12 and it just sits <laughs> at four to six all day. I'm happy with four to six, but we'll see. <laughs> just gotta go and see. Yeah. What secret spot are you gonna serve? 
Oh, definitely not a secret spot. <laughs> uh, I'm staying at one of the resorts that has a like a left point break right outside, so that should be fun. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Man. Cool, man. Uh, yeah. Thank Hope you, you so much. It. I'll definitely pass it back on to you when there's a bigger day. So yeah, definitely. Sure. Definitely gonna get some drone footage. Yeah. Uh. Should be fun. <laughs> How many sessions are we for drone? Oh no, don't worry. Just one day maybe when it's four to five or four to six. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay. Maybe we'll take it to some point break here. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Go to Rhode Island one day. <laughs> Rhode Island. It'll be great to put it uh, to work. So they're great boards. They're, he's a great shaper. They just take a really long time naturally with everything going on. So but so for anyone who is like trying to progress or like in your at your stage in surfing, uh, do you think it's well worth to spend <laughs> to spend that amount of money to get this board? Or you think they should consider something else uh, similar to this? What would be your advice? It, it all depends on not so much the surfing, I guess, but more what you appreciate and if you want to support more the local hand shape side of things or there are plenty of great shapers in New York right now that can really make some fantastic boards too mm -hmm. um, and so if I was to do it all over again I mean it's great to have one of his boards but there are some really good closer shapers if you're looking for something custom and, and handmade obviously mm -hmm. but then you can also walk into a store like I did and find a board that you like and be be happy with so yeah. It just clicked, you know, and, yeah. then, and then you fell in love and then... Yeah, right. But, you know, if I was to think of another board, I'd probably look at someone trying to shape me another single fin pin here. Mm -hmm. Maybe like uh, Storyteller Surfboards. Seems like he's making some really cool boards. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew, he was out in Long Beach that day we were out, so it'd be interesting to see his twist on a, on a single fin pin or Joe Falcone, but, you know... Uh, I would love to get another board from him because the one board that really, really improved my surfing was the seven one fish. Wow! 100%. Is that, he still shaping that board? I should have never got uh, sold. That board was. Mm -hmm. If there was one board that really improved my surfing, I would say is that. Wow! But you cannot get uh, any board from him now, right? He's oh, he's still shaping at some I point. I think he's maybe just shaping for friends. He's super busy with um, Almeida and all that, so. Um, but yeah, if I was to get anyone else to shape it, of course, it'd be great to have Joe shape. But if not, there's some really good shapers, I think, here that can, you know, make a really cool single fin. But, or I can just walk into a shop and pick up a, you know, 7.4 single fin and be happy. But <laughs> for now, I think I'm set for a few years. So, yeah. You want to sell someday? I know. Yeah. You I know, know you know where to call, Absolutely. where to text. 100%. Uh, I, I really liked it. They're great uh, boards. Yeah. Just great fin too. So it's gonna definitely overlap a lot of my boards, but um, yeah. But you don't have something like this, like a old school. No, I don't have single fin pin. So mm -hmm. always good addition to the quiver. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, cool well, man, and uh, enjoy enjoy your trip, and I hope you score. I hope so too. Hope locals will start complaining that Anis has been taking so many waves and um, yeah. never sent him to Maldives again. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Uh, hit the notification bell to not miss the next episode. And guys, if you have any questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, thank you, Anis. Thanks, man. Bye, guys. Woo!